Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Educare. Today I have brought in quick and interesting session on desktop view automation. Today I'm going to show you how you can find the elements of an application using a third party tool. This is very simple tool and you can find the applications, you can find the uh, you can find the elements very quickly and also it will help you in writing the scripts. It will give you the structure how to uh, form this uh, form the scripts. Uh, from how to how to structure the scripts and write it and mark my words guys this is very very useful one and for the beginner if you want to learn how to automate your desktop applications please use this tool and this will really help you i have a tool called swappy so we'll get this in two versions uh, 64 bit and 32 bit applications and i will provide the link in the description box you can go and download from there if you're automating a 32-bit application, use this 32-bit uh, EXE. And if you're automating 64-bit application, use this 64-bit EXE. Now, if you're trying to automate an application uh, which needs admin rights, right? Uh, like admin pop-up or USC pop-up. So you need to launch this application using administrator. Then only you can uh, view, the, view the contents of view the elements for the particular window or application. Now for this, what I need to do is like, I'm going to see, I have the notepad application. Today I'm going to show you like how you can uh, find the elements uh, from this file menu bars and click on various ways or type some text over here so first of all i will just uh, start the application and uh, if you see like there will be various uh, windows are here now if i need to see find my window which is my window here if it is not reflected over here just refresh it double click on your node name it will uh, refresh it now on to search, this is my untitled notepad, right? The first script, what I need to do, like practically, what I need to do is like, I need to start the application, right? So right click on this and then start. Now you see here in the editor box, box you can find it, the script. Now, if you're a beginner, you can write this script. You can try with this script and see like whether the notepad is getting started or not. And mark my words, guys, this will start the application. Okay. So only thing is like a couple of things are depreciated. It's a dot start. It's a caps, right? So it will be in a dot small as. So this is one. And then like next, uh, you can find the class names over here. What is the class name of this notepad? So app equal to application dot start. You are using the notepad. And then notepad equal to app dot notepad. And then this is the remaining parts. Okay. Now I want to access the menu bars. So I have the menu bars over here. Let's expand it. I have a file, edit, format, view, help. So let me go for help and let me go for sub menus. In the sub menu, sub menu I have one, two, three, notepad. So if you see here help, I have this notepad about, right? So let me show you like, if I click from here, this will toggle here. This will interact with this particular window. Right click and click it. If you see, this window is opened. Very simple, right? Hope you're following with me. And see, you have the script also menu item equal to notepad dot menu item it is clicking it is going to this path and then it is just clicking it okay so next what i'm gonna do is like i'm going to format font and then i will try to uh, and then try to i will just interact in any, any one of the drop down or combo box items so let me try that so format font sorry So I have the menu items, I have the format, then I'm going to click the font, right? Click it. So I have the font open. Now if you see like how to get the font, this is the script for, this is the statement for clicking on the font icon. Next, once I get the font, let me change, let, let me select any one of this comma box from here. Then what you can do is like, uh, you cannot interact with this window directly. You need to connect to this window. Say we don't have that particular font window here, right? Go to the uh, your node and then just uh, double click it. So you got a font window here. So right click, uh, click on the font, expand it and see what comma box is saying for this. What is the comma box number? So we have one, two, three. We have four comma boxes here, right? So definitely it should be zero, one, two, three and four, I believe. So let me check for this. 
uh, if you see here agency FB right so this is the one agency FB just see the properties here it says properties uh, it's an you can access the uh, element you can access the element using combo box combo box 0 combo box 1 and you and font combo box now let me you can, you can access uh, this element using any of this now let me go for this regular ball right so let me go this regular ball how about how you can access so this one you can access using combo box 2 you font and style combo box so in writing the script you can use this or you can use any of one of these to uh, get to it okay so now for the ok button say like i have a ok button here so how to get the ok buttons so i want to click on the ok button right so this is the ok so if i want to click so i want to get this window door ok and this particular window is closed so very simple guys so i have already i have written the script already for this and uh, let me show you what i have done and so first i have imported a couple of models five minute of time so make sure you need to install this uh, install this uh, pyvinot application a uh, pyvinot module then from pyvinot application import application from pyvinot keyboard import sign case this is when you're writing some big scripts so just import those modules and then what i did here is like if you see from starting in editor app equal to application dot start notepad so since this notepad is already uh, you can start directly so just type put notepad here but if you want to go with this you can go through this also then window equal to app dot notepad i'm just app dot the class name either you can put the class name or you can put the title of the ui of that particular application sorry then what i'm doing is like window dot wait ready if you see here i'm just waiting for the window to get it wait uh, to get it ready then the time dot sleep it too this is nothing i put it because sometimes this symptoms may make it delay to uh, to open up so i just put a uh, sleep for two seconds also like uh, since during running this automation right if i if i don't put this uh, slip or wait so it will run so quickly and you cannot see it so then window dot maximize so i want to maximize the window even you can directly maximize from here also you can see like uh, the notepad you can maximize minimize you can have many things over here restore the mouse release the mouse press the mouse so set focus so there are lots of uh, keywords are there and lots of uh, helps you can get from here so i recommend you recommend you guys to use this when you're using any kind of duct tape automation and and one more one limitation only what i have seen here is like it will not support the latest uh, GUI interfaces this will always uh, support the old or traditional GUI, like say like notepad or putty or um, yep you can try it like if any uh, first what you can do is like if any uh, application you are trying to automate just view from here like whether you can view the objects or not if yes then you can use this and it will make your life pretty easier so what so next come coming back to the script i will be clicking on about notepad right so window dot menu item help dot click so there is two difference between click and click input this click is like you cannot see your mouse interaction just it will do it and you can just see the pop-up window that's all i will show you the difference how it works and then uh, next is like i'm just typing something in the edit box nothing but this edit box i will no, not show this now i will show it later then app dot notepad dot ok click once this click is open right once uh, help about notepad is opened so i cannot interact directly so i need to go back to app dot about notepad this is a title then ok dot click then time dot slip to again i'm putting two seconds delay so it will get closed then next what i'm gonna do is like i will be clicking on font so you should make sure like this is similar to what it is here three dots and all window dot menu item so this menu item is not proper so you need to uh, it, sh it should be in lower case then again i'm putting time dot slip too so that the font window will appear once the font window appears then i will be since we have no like with this combo box zero first one so app dot font you combo box zero dot select what you're gonna select from here which uh, font so i'm going to select ar berkeley and then time dot slip to just reload it for two seconds and then app dot font dot ok dot click so it's very simple uh, you have got almost all the information over here just a little twist so for the beginner you can use this and once you are uh, uh, used up with this and you can use your own tricks and you can use uh, other scripts for making it more uh, crisp okay 
and one more guys one more thing guys uh, if you are new to my channel please do subscribe my channel and also share it with your colleagues or friends so now uh, let me run the script and see how it runs let me close the previous windows see the notepad is open it got maximized then it will go to help about so you don't see any mouse interactions right my mouse is in one place only but it is selecting it on its own see here Berkeley got selected and then okay fine now I will show you how uh, to view the mouse interactions and that is very simple just you put click underscore input then here also just put click underscore input then for button also you can put input you can see the mouse is working over there the mouse interactions so now also i will put like window dot edit type keys help so if you want to uh, write something in the ui edit boxes you can put this uh, type keys okay now let me run the script again just maximizing help if you see the mouse interaction is there help now it's format it's font I think Berkeley is already selected so it will not uh, select reselect again now see it's very simple right so hope uh, this has given you some idea on uh, for the beginner at least uh, how to start with the desktop key automation if you have any doubt you can get back to me and from and if you like my channel please press like button for more videos please do subscribe my channel thank you for watching